Every year, Leanne Carr, curator of Art Express at the Art Gallery of New South Wales, chooses works from those students who created visual art for the New South Wales High School Certificate. The works she chooses must comply with the exhibition policy for the gallery and be accommodated in a particular sized room, the upstairs temporary exhibition space. Each year, the show attracts thousands of students, teachers and members of the general public. This year, the show will run till April 19th. The exhibition encompasses a broad range of approaches and expressive forms, including ceramics, collections of works, documented forms, drawing, graphic design, painting, photo media, printmaking, sculpture, textiles and fibre, and time-based forms. The website page is dedicated to this part of the gallery activities, grow in number and sophistication every year. They form an integral part of the physical viewing experience for the show and are used by students and teachers to prepare for the visit and for reference afterwards. In an attempt to alleviate the hurting effect of traditional audio guides, this video introduction to the website and to the artists and physical space the pages introduce also aims to ignite a sense of active, untutored wonder in the things that puzzle them. This guide is designed for parents and the general public who may need some introduction to the information available on the website. This group of artists are articulate and although they have been chosen by a curator, they are well able to talk about their work in a very informative way. The guide is educative, but the artists are more emotive and colloquial about their work. All the artists are given a gallery website daughter page that describes the work in their own words and a list of the artists that have influenced them. Also on their page are copies of the process diary they each must keep to plot the development of the work. There are also links to works by artists mentioned as inspirations by the students in the collection of the gallery or elsewhere and downloadable files of these artists talking about their work. Elsewhere on the gallery page there are links to other educational resources. From within the gallery collection, there are also links to the dedicated Art Express website maintained by the Arts Unit, New South Wales Department of Education and Communities. There is also a link to the relevant pages on the Board of Studies website. These artists are introduced by Story Spheres, a Google application developed for use in Google Maps. There are 11 spheres divided into two parts. They can be viewed using a cheap 3D cardboard enabling device to enhance the experience. Artists are also invited to stand before their work on the gallery video channel. This guide will highlight two artists from the total 37 artists in the exhibition this year. Jordan Abram in photo media and Ellie Carantinos in time-based forms. Photo media is now such a popular method of communicating, particularly via social media, it provides an excellent point of entry to the show. Jordan Abram has used the characters from his local suburb of Bondi as his subjects. These 60 images and quotes are presented in identical sized individual panels. There is also a book of the photographs with quotes from the subjects. The pages of the book are turned on continuous loop video and offer insight into the character of the subjects. The title of the work is 2026, the postcode for Bondi. As a lifetime resident of Bondi, he is more interested in the people around him than the more usual representation of Bondi as primarily a beach. Instead, he uses the beach as the base on which he meets and photographs his subjects. He noticed that although he always visited the beach at about the same time, the number of shots he got varied. This raises an interesting question about how weather, lifestyle availability and the force of habit influences human interaction with nature and the way we like to spend our time in it. Jordan cites two other photographers who inspire him. Eugene Tan, the maker of Aquabump's website, and Brandon Stanton, Humans of New York. Both these choices are very popular web-based storytellers who find the eternal in ordinary people photographed and interviewed in the street or around the beach.
I've always had an interest in photographing people because I love that a photo of a person can really tell a story. I found that the people with the true heart and soul of Bondi, the landscape's been there for years, but the people just keep changing and keep making the beach what it is today. At the beginning they were complete strangers, but now I've begun to generate a conversation with them day after day, and I think by capturing them and including them in the project, I've created a strong connection with the portrait. My body work. Time-based forms has an increase showing this year with a special darkened room constructed in the exhibition space. The screen is approximately 2 by 3 metres, so the work shown here can be read as film. Ellie Carantinos tells a simple story about her grandfather that still resonates with the viewer. My name is Ellie Carantinos from International Drama School. My body of work, My Only Enemy is Time, is a short documentary film following my eight-year-old grandfather George as he grapples with the aging process and comes to terms with his mortality. It was a deeply personal task for me as I watched him experience both deteriorating health and the loss, reflection, vulnerability and acceptance that accompanies age. Conceptually, I was inspired by the poems of Kenneth Slessor particularly out of time and Captain Dobbin, that explored the effects of time and memory in our lives. And drawn to the feelings of trepidation and human vulnerability conjured in the sculptures of Ron Muick and Sam Jinks. I tried to capture through film the transience and frailty of human life and the mental and physical effects of time on the individual. I chose to use digital film because I was drawn to the immediacy and intimacy it allowed in engaging with my subject both psychologically and emotionally. It also allowed me to show the multifaceted layers of a person's life. It enabled me to combine observational documentary style, personal interview and abstract poetic symbolism in order to promote further the ideas of the complexities of humanity and the unfair 